I got a parcel today, and it's from Amazon, and I think I know what it is, because my mom asked me what I wanted for Christmas the other day, and, well, I told her I needed some memory for my computer, um, where I have a Mac, and, you know, kind of uses some specialized memory, just can't go to the store, so I think she ordered it, and uh, we're going to open this and see, and if she does, we're going to install it. So we're going to open it and see. Enjoy your gift. Merry Christmas, son, from Mom and Dad. Oh, thanks. You guys are so kind. And there it is. It is the memory for the Mac. Uh, I guess that's like a gift receipt type of thing. So we are going to install this. This should be an endeavor. But let's do it anyway. Let's get that Mac unplugged and put it in. Because... Where I'm using Final Cut and everything, I only have 8 gig memory in there now. And it can max out to 16. So, this is what we're going to do. We're going to max it out to 16. And hopefully, things will run a bit smoother and a little bit faster. I'm so happy about this, can't you tell? I really love this. I can't wait to get this memory in here. So, let's do it right now. So, I know it's kind of dark here. Just give me a second. Here we go. So, got the Mac all unplugged. The memory is up underneath a little slot hole here that we have to get a screwdriver and take it apart. So I'm going to take this Mac right off here, lay it back down there on the soft cushion, and take it apart, and we'll go from there. Now, there's my crazy big Mac there, and this is where the memory is, right in here. So we can undo these screws, pull this down, and put the memory in. Put it back up, screw it up, turn it on, and hopefully everything will fire up properly. So, um, get a screwdriver and start. And I got my handy dandy little Mac tools that I had from my phone the other day, and I'm going to use that because, well, they're Mac tools. Why not? I paid for them, might as well use them. So, let's uh, get this puppy opened up now. It goes in up there somewhere. It looks like there's some dust in there, so I'm gonna have to clean that dust out too. I just hate dust in the bottom of anything or in my Mac. So anyway, the first thing I'm doing is I'm checking the previous memory module with the memory modules I just made that I got for Christmas, and um, just making sure all the specs are the same so that everything functions correctly, and it seems to be the way that it should be, so we'll get them put in the slots now, which is fairly easy by the look of it. Like that. Now I noticed that this little slot right here was to the, the right side where I have to put it in. So, oh this thing is heavy. So, now we are going to put it right in there because there's two slots, one there and one there. So, Kind of hard to do this with one hand, one hand in the camera, and we just push it in, just like so, and put the little flappy thing back over that, and then we just open up that one, and we take this one out, and our little slot is to the right side, because you can see there's a shorter amount of pins on that side, so we'd have to go on that side, and there's a, there is the little slot thing down there, so... You can't put it in wrong anyway. Okay, so now they are in. It's as simple as that. That's great. Now, the newer Max, I don't know how, how they function as per se. Putting the uh, memory in, you might have to take off a whole bunch of stuff to do that. I'm not sure. This is a mid. 2011 iMac, and uh, it's not the thinner, sleeker style Max, so everything is inside this. The, you got the, uh, the Super Drive DVD drive thing is in this one, as opposed to new ones. They don't have that, so you would have to buy a 
separate the CD one that's uh, wireless for your Mac for that purpose. Here we go. Let's put the, the connectors all back together in the back here on the desk and fire it up and see what happens. Okay, moment of truth. Powering on. Let's see. memory application um, that just sort of tells you okay so I have this memory application over here um, it's just like it's a, it's a memory cleaning type of thing now it tells me right here total 16 gigabyte and that's why I wanted to make sure and I see it so I am maxed at 16 now and it tells you memory hogs, which is like Safari and the Mail. And of course, if you open up Final Cut Pro, it just like maxes it out big time. But um, yeah, so now I'm at 76% available, which is good because before um, it would be down like 30 or something. Because as you can see, the file cache is there. Use uh, would have been almost 4 gig, which was like half of the memory. And then the app memory was 2.6 and wired 1.3. So it was really like bogging the system down. So now the system has like 75% memory that's available to it. So things should be able to run faster. And um, of course, you know, as things do age, they do get a little slower, as we know ourselves are like that. But um, this should be the uh, telltale in a minute when I open up Final Cut. To see how fast that loads up. Well, it seems to be loading up pretty quick. Now I got to go up here. Oh, it's already actually loading in my thing for me, which is good. And it's pretty quick. So, yeah, let's just see. Um, yeah, well, it seems to be a lot faster already. So, that is a good thing. Now, even with Final Cut open, you can see down there Final Cut is a memory hog, and that I'm using 6 gigabyte now of used memory, or 5, should I say, 5 gigabyte of used memory, wire 4.2 and 3.45, so I am up over the 8, but I still have 70% available, which is really good, you know. Um, now some of this is like in a swap file too on the drive, so yeah, I don't know where that sits. So, um, but anyway, that's good. Seems to be running really good. Uh, but this little app here, if you want to uh, use it, um, you can hit clean, and what it does, it just goes through your memory um, and checks it all out and see if there's any like uh, uh, I guess dead space in your memory or stuff that's not being used that could be just like cached up there that you don't need from what you're running um, I'm not exactly sure how it works but it's pretty cool and it cleans it and it will free up memory for you and I got 1.4 gigabyte free so now I'm back up to 78 percent available memory and like um, you know that's awesome now my memory hog is no longer Final Cut. Now look at that. Isn't that interesting? Hmm. I wonder why. Not that that's a bad thing. Uh, so it took down 1% when I started to actually use it again. Um, so maybe it was just where it was not being used. But anyway, I'm happy. I got lots of memory there now. Doesn't mean I'm going to remember things any better. But anyway, that's it. For my Christmas present. Thank you, Mom. Love you. Mom and Dad, love you both. Thank you so much for getting this for me because this will speed things up. Anyway, to all the dailies out there, I will talk to you again very, very soon. And remember